Welcome to the Real Vault. For all film collectors, theaters, film preservation organizations, and movie buffs, comes a film print management app that allows users to keep track of their film collection and view other registered film prints. In this app, a user signs up or logs in, can access the personal collection of films, add new films, edit the details of existing films, or delete prints they no longer own. Whether logged in or not, all users can search for a specific print by movie title or theater organization. So just a little layout of my home page here. We have an option to sign up or log in. You can search by a film or a theater organization. And there's also a little drop down menu here as well. So uh, let's just search something here. Um, let's do John. All right, so you see there that the uh, search works and it brings up everything that we asked for. So we search for John and it brings up all the John Wick films. You can click on that and there you go, get all the information for you. You can also just press enter on the search bar and all the films will show up that so far have been registered. Um, these are of course just example films, but you can definitely click on any of them and it will bring up all the details. Uh, you cannot edit or delete any of these films because you are not logged in and you're not the user that owns these film prints. But you can still search and find any film that you are looking for that is currently registered. Perfect. Nice. All right. And you can also search by organizations. This one would be common. And of course, comes up with toys because that is the Preservation Society. All right. So now let's take you through the process of signing up, say you're a new user. All right, so we'll say, uh, just use my own name here, say Andrew is the username. Um, and I don't really want to do an email. Um, and we'll type in a password. No, oh, I'm sorry, email can't be blank. So as you can see, if there's any errors and missing username, user email, or password, it will give a nice little message and make sure that the new user inputs all of the information. So we'll do that again. Let's say Andrew, Andrew, um, and password. Okay, so we'll sign up. All right, excellent. Uh, now there are no current film prints because I'm a new user, but you can uh, view your films, which will come back to my awesome films. We'll come back to that later. So let's uh, add a new film. Film title. Let's add and say that I wanted to do my film print of the Lion King. So we'll say uh, animated. Let's say it is 35 millimeters, and we'll do an aspect ratio. Um, don't really care about the condition, reels, length, or theater. Yeah, you know, just, just try that. Oh, I'm sorry. Condition can't be blank, reels can't be blank, and length can't be blank. So none of this data gets persisted to the database unless it's all properly filled out. Um, the only ones that you do not need to fill out are the optional. Uh, this makes sure that everything that is registered is known to all users so that they can get all the proper information in case they want to inquire about a film print. So let's try this one more time. Uh, We'll say it was in this aspect ratio, condition is good. And um, we'll just 
make up a number here. This is exact, but you get the point. And uh, we'll say it's Andrew's uh, theater. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and register that. All right, excellent. So it shows up all the details. You can return to your vault and it'll be listed under your awesome film prints. So right there, you have it. You have the Lion King and it's for everyone to see. You can even search for it now. There it comes up. And as you can see, you can edit and delete your film from this page. So you hit delete. Uh, are you sure? No, I don't really want to delete it right now. Uh, but you can edit your film. And let's just say uh, I want to change the reels to six and the length to 12,000. We'll update that. And perfect. All right, it's updated fine. And of course, you can still search at any time for any of the other film prints. Uh, but if you click on one of them, it does not give you an option to update or delete because you do not own any of these film prints. Uh, but you can definitely view them at any moment. All right. And once you're done with all of that, you can either view your films, you can add more films to your collection, or you can just uh, log out. And then there you go. You have logged out successfully. Thank you very much.